From her powerhouse voice to her diva antics to her pure fabulosity, Mariah Carey is a force to be reckoned with. She has had a career of legendary status, but what about her love life? It's been legendary, all right, but for all the wrong reasons. Mimi has gotten herself tangled up in some very sticky relationships. Here's the truth about her messy dating history. Mariah Carey's parents divorced when she was just three years old. Her older sister lived with their father, while Mariah and her older brother Morgan stayed with her mom. According to the Mariah Carey biography, written by Mark Shapiro, Mariah said she and her father initially had a good relationship after the divorce, but shortly thereafter, they barely communicated, although they remained cordial. She later said her parents' divorce affected how she viewed marriage. She added, Everybody wishes they had the Brady Bunch family, but it's not reality. Mariah met Tommy Mottola, the head of Sony Music, in 1991 when she was barely out of high school and he was 21 years older. After hearing her demo tape, Tommy was blown away by her voice. Mariah had already been offered a $30,000 recording contract and Tommy countered that offer by agreeing to give her $50,000 if she signed with Sony. Oh, and he also demanded she get rid of her collaborator, who was also her boyfriend at the time. With the promise that he'd make her a bigger star than Whitney Houston and Madonna, Mariah agreed to sign with Sony. In his memoir, the then married with children music exec said he and Mariah had great chemistry upon meeting. He also claimed Mariah was, quote, flirtatious from the moment he laid eyes on her. Tommy held true to his promise, and Mariah's debut album sold more than 15 million copies by the end of 1991. He divorced his first wife, and he and Mariah decided to get hitched. According to his memoir, Mariah watched replays of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's royal wedding for inspiration. They got married in 1993, but things were bad from the start. Mariah later told Cosmopolitan magazine that she felt very controlled. She said there was no freedom for me as a human being. It was almost like being a prisoner. Not only did Tommy take control of Mariah's professional career, but he took control in the literal sense. Mariah was reportedly stuck inside the Bedford, New York mansion Tommy had built, and two bodyguards were assigned to watch her at all times. While her career ascended to new heights, her marriage crashed and burned when they decided to separate in May 1997. The divorce was finalized in 1998. Those closest to the couple weren't surprised, an insider told People magazine that Mariah and Tommy were going in two different directions. He was reportedly eager to please her, while Mariah preferred to party with rappers in Manhattan. Looking back on their marriage, Tommy wrote in his memoir that it was, quote, absolutely wrong and inappropriate that they even got involved with one another in the first place. He added that he was truly sorry for any discomfort or pain that his good intentions caused her. Mariah was back on the market and met Latin singer Luis Miguel in Aspen in 1998. According to her biography, written by Mark Shapiro, Mariah and Luis' real estate agents set them up. They planned on recording a duet, but when that fell through, they decided to give love a shot. Cheating rumors soon crept their way into the superstar's relationship. While working on the soundtrack for the Glitter film, there were reports that Mariah and singer Eric Benet were getting a little too close, but that wasn't the only problem. Mariah reportedly wanted kids and Luis didn't, so he reportedly broke things off in 2001. The breakup was so traumatizing that it was allegedly the source of Mariah's much publicized 2001 meltdown. 
ABC News reported Mariah went into hysterics, smashing glasses and dishes in her New York hotel suite. She was taken to the hospital for an emotional and physical breakdown and was later moved to a facility in Connecticut. When it was reported that Mariah suffered from cuts on her foot from the broken dishes, some news outlets claimed the singer cut herself in an attempt to take her own life. But Mariah's publicist denied that allegation. Of course, everyone assumed she was devastated over the breakup. Back on the mend, Mariah was ready to focus on her career. Sometime in 2001, she reportedly met with Eminem to discuss a collaboration. According to Complex Magazine, they sparked a brief romance that lasted for about six months, but Mariah denied their relationship during an interview with Larry King Live. Eminem persisted and continued to diss Mariah on numerous tracks, but in true Mariah fashion, she hit back with her own disses. Things simmered down, for a while at least. According to People Magazine, Mariah Carey met Nick Cannon at the Teen Choice Awards in 2005. They didn't start dating until March 2008, and their relationship moved at lightning speed. Nick told the magazine it was love at first sight, and they had been inseparable since the start of their relationship. He added, Once we connected, I felt it was destined. This has to be my wife. Before the public even knew they were an item, they got some ink to solidify their love. Nick got Mariah's name tattooed across his back, while Mariah got the words Mrs. Cannon on her lower back. Nick told People Magazine that in his eyes, tattoos were more significant than wedding rings, but the couple eventually decided to take things to the next level just six weeks after they began dating. In April 2008, they tied the knot at Mariah's estate in the Bahamas. In 2009, Mariah's alleged past came back to haunt her when Eminem released another diss track. Her new husband decided to defend her honor by typing a since-deleted Tumblr post entitled, How Cute. Nick wrote he was taking full action against the rapper. In his rant, Nick called Eminem a coward and proclaimed the rapper, quote, finally barked up the wrong tree. In November of that same year, Mariah released the song Obsessed and even dressed up like Eminem in the music video. Many people thought she was doing too much over someone that she claimed to have never dated. On a happier note, Mariah and Nick welcomed their twins, Moroccan and Monroe, in April 2011. But even this happy occasion couldn't keep the couple together. There were rumors that Mariah was cheating with the rapper Nas, but Nick came to her defense and stated the rumor wasn't true and Nas was a mutual friend to both of them. In 2014, Nick was ready to air their dirty laundry. He told the insider with Yahoo, he and Mariah had been living in separate houses for a few months. A source told E! News the relationship fell apart because Mariah tried to get Nick to stay home more, but he always used work as an excuse. The couple eventually decided to call it quits, with Nick filing for divorce in December 2014. According to People Magazine, her next significant relationship began in 2014 when she met billionaire businessman James Packer at the premiere of Hercules. They went public on the red carpet in 2015. According to the NZ Herald, six months later, James purchased a 35 carat engagement ring and proposed to the singer at a restaurant. They set their wedding date for March 2016, but there were problems, lots of problems. James revealed they had issues negotiating their prenup, and a friend of James was concerned about his well-being during his time with Mariah. The friend even stepped in to help handle things on James' behalf. The friend allegedly put his foot down when Mariah tried to purchase a $250,000 wedding dress. The friend then arranged for James to go to Israel because he felt it was best for him to get some space away from the R&B singer. Subsequently, the wedding was postponed. When James got back to America, he still wanted to get married. But by October 2016, the love affair was over. However, that wasn't the end of it. Mariah wanted a reported $50 million from James for their relationship and broken engagement. According to The Blast, Mariah felt she was entitled to the money because she had, quote, uprooted her life for him. She also wanted to keep the engagement ring, and she did. 
According to sources, Mariah also ended up walking away with between $5 and $10 million in 2017. Shortly after her breakup, Mariah got into a relationship with her much younger backup dancer, Brian Tanaka. According to People Magazine, Mariah broke up with him that same year. She and her ex-hubby Nick briefly rekindled their relationship, but it didn't go much further. Mariah ended up right back in Brian's arms. As of this video, the couple is still going strong. We're hoping Mariah has finally found her true love and we wish her and Brian nothing but the best. Let us know your thoughts on Mariah's dating history and thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.